What, what it do, do what, what it do, do, what it do. It's your boy Badger. And it's Maha. And we're back at it again with another skibbity toilet video. We're doing it on the day off, so let's get it. And the subtitles. They don't work. They don't work. So if y'all gonna come at us for the subtitles, it ain't our fault. Cause I can see here captions. I can't. It, they, I can't select it. So if there's any backwards stuff, I'm sorry. I couldn't hear it for all y'all coming at us the last video. So before we get to the Skivity video, man, Skivity Toilet Seventy Five, give them the verse of the day. We gonna we just get into it. Let's get it. The verse of the day comes from John eight thirty two. You will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Hey, the truth will set you free. I'm excited. I'm excited. All right, let's go. Let's it's raining. Mind y'all, just to let y'all know, it says subtitles slash closed captions unavailable. So if they got any backwards talking, we gonna have to try to figure it out. Or y'all can tell us in the comments. My good, they was coming at us hard. Yeah, they were. I y'all thought I forgot. Y'all thought because it was three weeks, I was gonna forget. All right, let's let's press play. I'm just saying, let's get it. Hey man, stop eating that bone. <laughs> These asteroid head things are taking over. Oh wow. All war. Why are they in New York? They look defeated. Yeah. Oh. It's up the one I think. Damn, bro. They even going against the skip. I'm confused. <laughs> they. Aren't you guys on the same team? I apologize. That was Chloe. But yeah, back to the video. Dang, they taking out the skibbity toilets. Uh oh, he's seen them. Shut it! Shut it! Oh my gosh. Ooh, this better they, kill him. I bet they gonna come in a different way. What'd I say? Oh my god. Ow! This looks like Darth Vader. Dang! Bro, these I don't think they're gonna be able to take these asteroid head people out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You're done mm. for. You gotta run. Look. Done for. Who gonna mm. come? Oh! Not the skimmy toilet helping! Not the skimmy! Oh. Oh. Oh, they're helping! Oh. Are they joining forces? Oh! oh. Bro, why is he uh -oh. not dead? He's still about to get me. Oh, what? What is Bro, this? This is ridiculous. Who is that? That's another um, camera. Oh, finally! It took about 50 people to kill him. Take his helmet off! Boy! Ooh! It took about 15 people to take him out. Wow! Are they working together? Yeah. That's crazy. What the? Oh! You go the? off, girl! What is going on? Did we miss an episode? <laughs> Oh, heck no. Nah. It's going to take... You're done for it, buddy. Try to run. 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 I don't even know why you stopped to turn around. Come on. She's like, let's go. <laughs> Who are you? Who is she? <gasps> oh. Oh. Did they die? I don't 
no. Hopefully they got the the girl, right? Oh, there she go. Oh, she's she's like that. Who what is the she? Heck? Who is she? That was crazy. That was crazy. Uh, we did not expect cameraman um, and the skibbity toilets teaming up, especially with that. Was it a female? Mm -hmm. what, what? What? People gonna name her? I don't yeah, know I don't what they know. gonna name her. They gonna name her? Um, I don't know. Female skibbity toilet. <laughs> I don't know, but she seems like she' about to make a difference. But the fact that they teaming up, I did not expect this. But they gonna have to in order to destroy these astro asteroid skibbity toilet things. Yeah. But what we haven't done in a while is watch an Easter egg analysis theory. And we're going to do that today. We're going to watch uh, my man, Elite Care Man analysis and see what he found in this. So let's do it. Elite Cameraman here. Episode 75 of Skibidi Toilet dropped like a nuke. And it's once again one of the most important episodes ever. In plain sight, it might not seem that way. But the second you start thinking about what happened and what we witnessed mm. in this episode... Everything starts she making make more difference. sense, and the direction the story is going towards is nuts. Nuts. But that's not all, because I don't think everyone in the Alliance is all free-minded people who are willing to accept these changes. Therefore, the tension inside the Alliance might get heated as the story goes on. I but I'll explain that. all these later in the video, Some because alongside of what up, we got man. in the latest secret scenes and what happened today might give us a clue on what will be happening in the next arc. We might not have seen what happened to Titan Cameraman and the other two Titans, but what happened in today's episode clearly foreshadows what will happen to Titan Cameraman in the later episodes when it's finally reveal time. Ow. So in today's video, I'll go over everything that happened with the Astros and the possible team up of the toilets alongside what the Juggernaut Astro said because blood Juggernaut looked really Astro. angry, and also the alliance to even the sighting of the secret agent. You might not have seen him, but he did show up just slightly for a couple seconds. So Where? make sure to like the and agent? subscribe yeah. if you haven't seen him I in today's episode. I stopped looking for the agent. I know, same. And for Too those who found him happening. before watching my analysis, you still should like and subscribe if you don't want to miss out on anything in the future. Anyways, here we go. The episode starts with the POV cameraman looking up in the sky, and we can instantly see that after around 10 episodes, we are finally out of the Skibidi bunker area for the first time and back in the city, and there is a heavy storm happening. But that's not all, because a few seconds after the POV starts, we hear a huge laser sound going off, and once the POV cameraman turns to his right, we can see that it's an astro toilet lasering and destroying the city. This is actually the same toilet we saw in the leaks couple days ago. But there is a slight change. When Boom posted this leak, he actually removed the helmet <laughs> for some reason. He probably wanted to mislead us into thinking it wasn't an Astro. But even though I didn't notice it at the time, people have figured out that in episode 74, we can see the same circle design behind the head of the toilet in some of the Astro toilets. But alongside the Astro toilet, did you notice something else? What? If you look really but really carefully, you can actually see the secret agent on the roof. It's not entirely Ooh. noticeable, but if we zoom in enough, it's clear that there is a human form watching what's oh. happening. And even though oh, there is no okay. green glow or anything, that. I don't think there is anyone that can just stand there without even caring of about Facts. being killed other than the secret agent. True. But if there is someone else, we really need to be afraid of whoever it might be. It also might look like something that's coming out of the building, but in the later seconds we can see that the silhouette vanishes and is not there anymore, which means whoever it was teleported. There is also another scene which people think we can see Secret Agent again, but that's closer to the end of the episode, so make sure to watch until the end if you don't want to miss that. As soon as the Astro Toilet starts attacking the city, the reinforcement camera copters come in and starts attacking it. But it looks like the Astro Toilet has a mini version of Astro Juggernaut shield on his face which protects him, and as always, the camera copters can't do anything and they are useless. <laughs> also about the shield, I always thought the normal toilet stole the shield designs from the Titans, but it is possible, but the toilets came up with the shields thanks to G-Man Toilet's advice. And maybe the Alliance stole some of the designs before we even saw the toilets use it in action. Because even though the shield's designs are clearly different, they are still both plasma shields, 
and knowing G-Man used to be an astro toilet. We also see a bunch of carrier camera helicopters trying to leave the area right at this moment, probably saving some of the Alliance members they can save. Right after this, we see the astro toilet's shield coming down and That's some compartment face. starts mm -hmm. opening up. And if I remember correctly, Boom did say that these astros were called astro carriers, but at the time, it didn't make sense why he called them carriers while they were demolishing everything on their own, and we couldn't even see if there was a face on top of it in episode 74. But we finally learn why, because as if it wasn't enough, four X-Wing Astros come out from the Astro carriers inside, and they blow up the camera attack helicopters instantly without mm. even trying. They don't stop there, I and they also kill part. the camera helicopters that are trying to they escape, so and everything happens yeah. so fast. <laughs> this leads to the POV cameraman leaning back and start hiding, and what we see in this frame is wild. First of all, if you look on top of the roof on the left, we actually can't see the human silhouette that was there before, which clearly means that he teleported away, and it most likely was the secret agent. Fact. This time, I think he was watching to see if the toilets and the Alliance would finally team up, because why would he otherwise be here while Titan Cameraman is on the brink of dead somewhere else? But that's not the crazy thing. If you have watched my leaks video, you'd know that Mr. Boom dropped one of the craziest leaks, the chair leak. People went crazy over this chair leak, and there were so many theories, and here it is, the infamous chair itself on the left side. Also, thanks to Peanut Butter XD oh, because he did send me where the secret agent and the chair was literary five minutes after the episode dropped. Bro yeah. is better than the detective cameraman. This chair doesn't <laughs> do much, but how did it get there? Maybe just maybe the secret agent actually put the chair there to attract some toilets there so that the team up actually happened. I know it sounds crazy, but it really is possible. The okay. fact that we still have no idea what the secret agent is planning at all is insane. Alongside this, right at this scene, we can actually see three other leaks that we saw, which means Boom literally took four leaks from the same frame with different angles. First one is the cameraman being sad with the large cameraman that <laughs> lost his arms. It looks like this cameraman got sad either because his friends died or the fact that he might die in a couple minutes because the situation is really bad. The next one, one is the works. commander cameraman smoking that skibidi pack while standing on a toilet. <laughs> Blood Scooby is still chilling is in a situation crazy. like this. Boom actually colored this scene with an orange looking color on the leak, probably to mislead us into thinking there are multiple POVs this episode, but it looks like it was from the same place. The next one is actually from the POV itself. I oh, called this cameraman the IKEA cameraman because bro is wearing something that makes him look like a Roblox IKEA employee. <laughs> After this, the POV cameraman looks down for a second, probably thinking about his regrets, but suddenly they start hearing skibidi toilets and something is weird. Oh. The chair is gone, bruh. Where is the chair? <laughs> This makes the chair even more mysterious. Okay. Did it fall down? Did it slide down even minutes. more that we can't see it anymore? Or did it they simply be vanish? Making up, he be making up Boom. theories. If you are watching this, we need to know. Is what I would normally say, but we actually get to see the chair once more. But no, it wasn't at the same place as its first appearance, which makes it even more sus. I'll talk about it more when it shows up again in the episode, but it sure is crazy. And it really might have something to do with the secret agent, so... Make sure to like the video and subscribe if you want to know more about the chair. But what's more important is what we see next. We don't know where these toilets came from or why they came here, but the mutant toilets here run hella goofy with two guns on their hands. <laughs> also, it's nice to see a ding-dong Strider toilet appear again. It really has been a while, but their fate is not that nice, because two of the X-Wing Astros instantly return back when they hear the toilets, and these bloods are literally looking for blood. They turn to each other right before smiling like two psychopaths, while we see the, the toilet squad shocked and scared, literally begging for mercy, right before they get obliterated, and one of the mutant <laughs> toilets literally puts his hands up, and for some reason he looks to his right, but it's not possible to see if there is something there. Either way, they die a gruesome death, and the POV cameraman zooms in even more after the death of the toilet squad because he sees even more toilets being killed, but this time it's another Astro killing the toilets. It's the mini juggernaut. We'll talk about this later in the video, the but it's finally confirmed that the juggernauts are not humans, but something else. Oh, 
And the fact that the POV cameraman locks onto the mini juggernaut actually bites them in the ass because blood notices them instantly. And it's blood. actually revealed how blood later in like, the video because you know, the actual Gen Astro oh, juggernaut gosh. speaks and reveals more of his abilities. Blood. The cameraman squad Shaking starts backing head. up and preparing to attack at the front door Definitely for when the Gen mini Z juggernaut comes this. in because they did see him coming towards their way. But it doesn't go as planned because as you guys know, the Astro toilets can literally go up to light speed and the mini juggernaut appears from the back by demolishing the wall completely with his clown-like paws. Yes, you did hear me right. Paws, not hands, because blood is actually a dog. It's not entirely understandable, oh but God. he kills a cameraman instantly, <laughs> right as he rushes inside, and the POV cameraman dodges him. It looks like the mini juggernaut also has two blades on his arm alongside a plasma shield on his left arm, just like the real Astro Juggernaut. And while he is blocking the laser attacks, we can actually see this cute puppy's tail on his back. <laughs> it seems like even his tail is armored so that it doesn't get damaged. Later in the video, we also get to learn what his role. relationship with the yeah. actual Astro Juggernaut is. And what happens later on might actually bite the Alliance in the ass quite hard. After blocking the lasers, the mini Juggernaut literally dashes in lightning speed into the containers to kill off the cameramans instantly. And I really don't think anyone around that place survived because bro was merciless. It kills one more cameraman with its shoulder lasers while coming back and opens his shield one more to squash the large cameraman that next to the POV strong. cameraman. And as if that wasn't enough, he also snaps his head off. But even though he seems like he is not taking any damage, if you look carefully when he closes his shield down, we can actually see that one of his eyepieces seemed kind of broken. I think this is a result of it being a child and not an adult yet. And as you guys know, puppies are usually really playful, and this totally. mini Astro literally cannot stop for a second, which makes me think that it doesn't really think, and it just does whatever he wants at the moment. Even though overall it works out for him, especially until he shoots the POV cameraman with his lasers. After this point, things start turning upside down for the mini juggernaut. Right when he is charging up his lasers to kill the POV cameraman, we turn to our right to see an incredible scene. For the first yeah, time ever in the series, wild. the Toilet and Alliance team up. That's we different. can clearly see the Commander Cameraman on top of an advanced Skibidi Toilet shooting his laser gun at the Mini Juggernaut, and since he wasn't ready for it, the laser does quite a bit of damage before he can open up his plasma shield, and as if that wasn't enough, another Toilet starts shooting his lasers at him from the other side, he jumping and at if man. you look carefully at oh, the left side on no. this scene, we can actually see the Bomber Toilet hiding behind the container before he jumps onto the Mini Juggernaut. The laser toilet does get killed by the mini juggernaut, and blood makes the goofiest scream sound, but this doesn't change the outcome because the bomber toilet does the last bit of damage to destroy mini juggernaut's flying capabilities, which the mini juggernaut wasn't expecting at all because bro was super shocked right before the bomber toilet arrived. This makes the mini juggernaut act even less carefully and he just starts spamming his lasers around the place while the POV cameraman throws in a toilet paper nade that destroys the last laser gun he has. Even they had totally this fight nice. clearly shows how unprepared this puppy was for a fight, but it doesn't stop here because he gets really mad and starts focusing on the POV cameraman by attacking him with his claws right before the POV cameraman's savior, the crazy hot mutant mommy toilet comes what in. What the heck? She stabs the mini juggernaut from hot? the back the of his head, which makes him distracted and leads him to throw the mutant female to the ground while both the POV <laughs> cameraman the mommy mutant and the commander cameraman the is attacking mutant, the yo. mini juggernaut with lasers, which leads to his helmet actually oh, being names, broken bro. and one of the saddest scenes in the entire series. But I think after his helmet was broken, the vibes kind of changed because it was revealed that the mini juggernaut was a puppy astro toilet all along. And the way bro looked sad broke my heart. His left ear was cut off, and he looked really sad with those mm, eyes. Even with it. everything he did to the oh, Alliance, it really was oh, sad. It is, oh, it's like a real dog. Yeah. Kill off the puppy Astro oh. while he was struggling. Look at his and the ear. way Bro died, Jesus oh. Bro. Boom really wanted us to cry while watching this scene. This also <laughs> begs the question of, is the Astro Juggernaut also a dog? Because people were making theories about him being a cat already, and it might actually be kind of true. It's unknown if he is a cat or a dog officially, but what he says later in the video might indicate that he is actually a dog. Peter and he actually call. might become the John Wick of the series after what happened. Bro really might go on a generational murder run after what he will witness, but before we talk about that, we need to talk about what we see next. 
We see the upgraded soldier toilet next to the commander cameraman, and the way the POV cameraman looks at them, and the commander cameraman reacts kinda shows that commander cameraman didn't really plan this out, but just went with their only option, which was to team up. And it's possible that this team up only happened because the toilets there were soldiers as well, and they were ready to listen to commands from Commander Toilet to survive. And Bro is still smoking that Skibidi pack. I won't be surprised if he dies from smoking one day and not because of toilets. I feel like this team up will definitely split the alliance into two. Those who want to team up and those who do not. Mm. The TV race definitely won't want to. They are already trying to hide stuff from the rest of the alliance. There is no way they are accepting this team up easily. We also have the lucky cameraman situation that we saw in the secret scenes of the full season. We saw him get arrested for treason and many other cameraman saw it, which probably spread hella fast. I think with all these combined, friction inside the Alliance is unavoidable. I don't know if this will lead to some type of civil war inside the Alliance where we see something like Captain America versus Iron Man type episode, but it definitely will be a big roadblock until everyone is on the same page. And I think the moment yeah, when everyone so. is on the same page and they actually team up will know. be a little too late and they'll <laughs> be trying to fix that. stuff that they messed up. This also kind of foreshadows what's going to happen to Titan Cameraman, if you ask me. I mentioned in my last three videos that I think Titan Cameraman is going to be saved by G-Man Toilet. And I do think something like that will happen more now after seeing this. I don't know if it'll be G-Man Toilet. But there is no way the Alliance is saving Titan Cameraman, and it'll probably be Titan Cameraman teaming up with Toilets to defend himself, which will lead to more people trusting normal Toilets. This really makes things interesting, and I do want to know what the secret agent is thinking because there is a chance that he wanted this, and there is also a chance that he wanted Lucky Cameraman to get arrested as well. All these things happening at the same time is a crazy coincidence. What happens right after this is even more sad compared to the puppy Astro dying because we witness a grown-ass man's sad side. The squad hears some Astro sounds going around outside the bunker, and right when the POV cameraman looks at the mommy mutant, she makes the shush face, <laughs> yeah, and oh god, she looks beautiful me. while doing it. But anyways, hey, they slowly yo. start walking to the back, and we literally see Commander Cameraman chill out, chilling cameraman. on top of the solid toilet. Freaking cartoon, bro. But things get a little too quiet, and it doesn't last long because suddenly the camera starts glitching as the Astro Juggernaut literally shouts at them right before destroying the whole roof. But before he can attack, he sees his little puppy toilet, and we can literally see his face getting sad. And Bro looks like he is about to cry. Aww, Bro's gonna make us cry sad. as well, bro. I didn't notice he that. He really about to go oh, on a John Wick arc. That. Instead of attacking, he grabs the puppy Astro and holds it in sadness. And we actually can hear him talk all this time. Before he destroys the roof, he says, I can see you through the walls. And continues with, What, my baby? You will pay. Right after he holds the puppy Astro. Here you go. Listen to it yourself. <laughs> This confirms that the puppy Astro was the juggernaut Astro's child or his own dog, because I don't know why he would call him my baby otherwise. We don't know if Astro Juggernaut is also a dog, right. but he is either a dog or he is a human that had the puppy Astro as a pet. Hmm. I guess we'll know the truth when we see the back of Astro Juggernaut, because if he does have a tail, it'd mean that he is also a dog just like the puppy Astro. And after this, he definitely is killing at least thousands of a Alliance members. Dog. Bro will be taking his revenge by killing anyone he sees. We also get to learn that the Juggernauts can use X-ray vision or heat sensors with their special lenses on the masks, which will make it a lot harder for the Alliance to hide against them. After this, we see the squad going out a crack on the back, which was probably opened by the toilets that helped the cameraman squad. And right before the mommy mutant grabs the POV cameraman, we see something crazy. It's just here for five frames or so, but if you pause at the right second, you can actually see the chair once again while the POV cameraman Stand is chair. turning behind. Whoa. This is crazy because how did it get here? What made it teleport here? I 100% believe that it's the same chair and it teleported here. I feel like there is a possibility that the secret agent or someone is literally sitting on it while being invisible. Or maybe just maybe there is a new race or someone that can shapeshift. 
If you didn't know, we did see a mysterious character in episode 74 which people think that it was the first sighting of a computer man, and he indeed was visible only when the TV daddy was phasing, which makes him invisible to the naked eye, and I think there is a possibility that someone is watching what's going on by shapeshifting unless Boom is just trolling us with the chair. Oh, boom. The chair lore better go deep, and we better not be yapping about some nonsense. Nah, you might be yapping. After this, we see the mutant mommy hold you the really POV cameraman yapping. and take off to escape the area. But bro, yeah. this POV cameraman is definitely simping. Bro didn't even You're look around simping. and locked onto her beautiful face. I wasn't going to say anything about what he did before, but if we roll back to when they were about to leave the warehouse, bro literally zoomed into mutant mommy's <laughs> giant, and bro definitely fantasized about something oh which gosh. I can't say. Hey, uh, I think he has a crush on her and he joined the simp squad. We might you have just witnessed it. the birth of a love between cameraman and toilets for the first time ever. But Bro's happiness doesn't last long because they get attacked by something which we can't see since he is Maybe literally is locked onto her bit. face. Oh. And they crash so down right toilet? before he is vet yeah, by the is. commander you don't cameraman. See the toilet? And it looks like yeah. the soldier toilet likes the cameraman story. more now thanks to commander cameraman he did look giving at her him last. a cigar as well. Yeah. Like that, so. Bro's whole expression changed. They all look at mutant Momi, and oh boy, does she look badass. And before the cameraman gives a thumbs up to her and the episode ends, we actually see something behind them. If you look carefully in the what? car, behind there them? is a black part that looks like a silhouette, and many people thought it was the secret agent. But when you look at it with higher resolution, it's clear that it is not a human, but something else because there is no head or anything. It's, it's just straight. With that, this episode ended. It car. truly was yeah, crazy and did kind of have a nostalgic feeling with how the episode progressed after everything that happened in the bunker raid. If you don't want to miss out on future videos, make sure to like this video and subscribe. Thanks Hello. so much, Elite Cameraman. Nice. Well, no, we ain't watched an analyst in a while. Yeah. That was actually a pretty good one. You gonna get in the camera? You gonna get in the oh, camera? Oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually a pretty good one. Um, some of the stuff we didn't know, some of it was just jibber jabber. Facts. I just feel like that. But I don't know. I thought the chair was jibber jabber, but it might mean something. But uh, we'll see how this goes, especially with what do you call them? Mutant, Mutant mommy. mommy. Y'all going to be simping over a cartoon. I could see y'all in the comments Facts. right now. But like, comment, subscribe, hit that post notification, and we'll see you next time. And AG2J, all glory to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Bye.